These are the couple of last minutes that I have in this really nice Neo ET7. I'm just coming back from the press conference of the ER. You possibly saw my video about the possible cooperation between Neo and other brands and what Lee Bin had to say. I chased him quite a bit down and shot those hilarious photos of the CEO at the Tesla booth or well, it's not a Tesla booth, but at least they had a new Model 3 there. Um, Lieben was checking it out and then making a quick phone call. Let me know in the comments what you think he had to say, possibly to his team. I saw Ted Lee was also there. Um, he, I met him before at the Neo Berlin um, a Germany launch event. But let me talk a little bit about the ET7 for now. Um, not so much about Lieben. I think uh, when I get the chance, maybe Still today, who knows, or tomorrow, um, talking to him for a quick second, I would have a couple of questions to ask, that's for sure. Uh, but let me come back to the product here, which I'm very happy with. Um, so the ET7, which is now sitting next to this um, Model S here, as you can see outside, giving it the last juice, um, actually charging at the same speed here, the supercharger here, um, still going at 73 kilowatt hours um, at 60% um, state of charge so charging is super convenient i think that battery swapping only adds a little bit more of convenience when it comes for the intercity distance trips and um, road trips and of course all of the other benefits that it's giving in terms of um, not having to worry about the battery and such things upgradability and um, what can i say about this car i mean uh, you guys are possibly not very fond of my car reviews <laughs> but i can certainly give you my views about the uh, perception that I have of the company uh, along with uh, the, the product and how it has changed over time. So I, I saw already the, the new ET7 in China during the Shanghai Auto Show, right? And that was definitely an upgrade to this version as well because of the seats. Um, I have to say the seats here are still very nice in terms of that the massage function is super awesome. I really, really enjoy that. I like it. The air ventilation of the seats also now coming in quite handy here in summer. The last time we had our Neo ET7 was before we went to China and it was actually very, very cold. And what can I say? This car is a very efficient drive. Um, during summer, uh, we're now having the smaller battery and that is still very, very convenient, I have to say. Um, it's really great. Um, couple of small, what how we say in German, Kinderkrankheiten, like, uh, you know, a little, little problems that the car is still having um, are you know, I think, yeah, the seats are possibly not as good as the latest version of the uh, Neo models that are on the NT 2.0 platform in terms of the um, convenience or how in Chinese you would say how shufu, how comfortable they are. Um, because, yeah, it, there are uh, like really, let's say, more of a laid back kind of seating uh, and they don't give that much of a support like what we are possibly now going to experience in the ET5 seats, which are more sporty. And um, I guess uh, Miriam will possibly uh, enjoy that quite a lot. Um, the uh, more stylish look of the ET5, the more um, young look. Uh, but I have to say the ET7, I always liked the design. It's a, a massive car, of course, uh, much larger than our ET5 that we will now get, but it comes with the convenience. But of course, the space here is great in the back um, and if you are like a business traveler then I think that's um, super convenient the car is super quiet inside sometimes I think you got a wrong impression with my video shots that I made on the road um, it's actually super silent inside even while driving high speeds I think the iPhone picked up some of the sounds in a in a wrong way um, but it's it's really um, yeah, superior than most of the other China EVs out there, uh, definitely. That, that speaks for the, the build quality. And I'm looking forward to how this compares to the ET5, for example. Um, critic points, I think right now, by now really, it is Nomi, to be honest. I, I really enjoy Nomi, to be honest. I'm not one of those guys who wants to have just a halo and remove the this little object here on the hood. No, I actually like it um, for the possibility of being able to using it uh, without having to dial knobs and so on while driving. However, 
it is not working great yet in German uh, currently. It's especially when I get into the car and it's just waking up. Usually the internet connection isn't strong enough or it having issues recognizing the speech properly. Um, and then later on, like just wait a minute or so, it does pick up and it's getting better. And like while driving, it's super nice. But to start a trip and for the navigation, I'm still having my issues with that. Um, so that's something to improve. What they definitely have improved is on software. During this trip, we did a software update and we could see how the speech recognition was getting way, way better than it was before. So that was a nice upgrade as well. Um, what else? Uh, what can I say what I did experience here? in this car. Uh, sometimes we had some issues with the air ventilation. Um, we already had that in the uh, winter testing of the ET7 where it was difficult for us to find the right setting to fully um, get a car heated up properly. It was really badly um, cold back then. However, um, it now, um, yeah, it's, if you get more familiar with the sit system, you also know like um, you need to crank it up sometimes uh, in order to heat the car up uh, properly or cool it down at max speed in the beginning and then once it's at a certain level it's just fine and um, the, the, the beauty of it is you can just use the app and um, you know do that before you get into the car actually and so yeah that is still okay but I think let's say for a premium to luxury car possibly something they might want they might want to look into for future additions to kind of um, improve even a little bit more on the airflows and um, you know being able to um, choose between the passenger side and the driver's side and close one of them down I think that's currently still not possible if I'm if I'm rem remembering correctly and of course one major thing which I really enjoy in this car is Neo Pilot and it's still very good uh, I was already a big fan of that in the first time with the ET7 when we got it um, I don't see too much improvements right now other than the, the um, speed recognition which is now working really really well but um, other than that I have to say it worked already really good last time uh, I, I possibly need to max it out a little bit more but that's maybe more on our trip now with the ET5 so I'll keep you updated on this one. One more important topic for me is the topic of the sound system so we had um, comparison to you know I tweeted that out one day to a very cheap actually quite mass market Volkswagen car the other day just driving around the net and I was impressed by um, how good the sound was compared to the ET7 and that was especially at the um, lower volume levels so if you crank up this sound system is actually very good and the bass lines are coming up and it's you know massive good sound can't complain it's very good However, if I'm having the volume just at decent levels, I think other sound systems sound somewhat more powerful. And to me, that's an issue because it somehow also transports the quality feel of the car, right? And for me, music is super important as well. So hoping, well, actually not only hoping, I know that the, for example, I sat in the ES8 in China and so on, and only testing that back then already noticed how improved the sound system also was in that regard. Other than that, nothing much to complain. Sometimes a little bit some issues with the, the wipers, uh, especially in winter, we had the problem when it was snowy and then we couldn't really get the, the um, the window is very clean, but there's actually an extra mode for that, which is kind of improving the situation a little bit with a little bit more water coming out of the pumps. Um, but I'm also thinking that, you know, these are some tiny bits where Neo can just improve a little bit to really catch up with BMW, Mercedes and so on. Um, if they get those sort of things right. Other than that, like the suspension is great, acceleration is great. The, it's such a comfortable ride. It's smooth. Um, I really enjoyed um, being in that. Yeah, and I'm I'm kind of uh, regretting already that I have to uh, switch it now for the ET5, which I'm hopefully also going to enjoy uh, pretty much. I'm sure about that. So, gonna head with that to Italy and take you guys with us and um, yeah, give you a comparison. So. I hope you enjoyed this little review here. Please make sure to subscribe so you stay updated to our next videos to come along. And then thanks for watching and see you in my next one.